fool to say I was a good guy. And every time they were around me, I made them smile. But in the close future, I hope to raise my family in a society full of suburban noise families. And so I hope one day soon we'll make a change. And when I'm dead, I hope my life I didn't live in vain. I know in my heart that I try to live right. And I'm a fight to the death of freedom is legalized. Then one day, I know my kids will have a chance to raise children of their own and own their own lands. And when this day comes, I hope I'm still alive to see the dream we envision finally realized. Yes, one day, I think we'll all recognize the government's a big game if we trade with lies. And on this day, we need to make a decision. We're gonna follow the blind and the people with vision. more love right there for the cloud nine record one day another chill track in honor of the late and great pakalika the visual assassin this is the hidden stash on the all new kgrg fm kgrg fm hd1 auburn so while we await brad daddy x to finish after show bong tokes we have as promised mr flow flow chris flores from suburban noise records sharing many a stories many a tales of his great times with Pakalika live on the Hidden Stash. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? How you doing out there? Man, we're we're here. We're chilling. It's all Sony Vibrations tonight, celebrating the great life of the great Pakalika. I know. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to come in after one day. That's probably a, definitely one of my favorite tracks and definitely one of the ones that give out that positive vibe. And it just gives you that feeling that, that tingles through your body, the lyrics, and just that whole, that whole song I love, so... I'm glad I was able to come in right after that track. I was singing along, you know, waiting for waiting for the the, the song to end. Exactly, that's definitely a good, a chill one to follow. And and <laughs> you know, it's like we've been because I play Cottonmouth Kings on the radio every week. But there's certain tracks like "Proud to Be a Stoner" and obviously one we're closing with tonight. There's been ones that I've wanted to play for a long time. It's just there. I was one where I knew there was a special occasion for it, and a lot of these songs on this playlist is all it was it just came into play Pakalika deserved all the hidden stash gems of the hidden stash pretty much right right but man you've worked with suburban noise records for many and many a years yes i have i've definitely been fortunate enough to do that and you've toured with many a bands and i actually f- formally met you for the first time just a few seattle. months back in seattle uh, at the shoebox. That was a fun night. Exactly, man. Good and show. With Mickey Avalon put on a great show. And Allison and Melissa, the millionaires, I tell you what, those girls know how to party. They definitely like to party. They definitely they like to get out there and do their thing. You know, they, they're good at what they do. They, they were definitely a fun band to have on the tour. And they definitely brought a lot to the bill. So I was really impressed by their whole persona and their whole professionalism within their camp. And I, I have to personally say, like, I... I didn't know any band could drink Grey Goose like Broken Side, but they certainly do. <laughs> well, I know they've done some uh, some um, some tours with Broken Side in the past. And my boy Chadillac on the and yeah. on, on his crew, he's uh, he's tour managed them a few times. And he's uh, went out. I think it was Warp Tour that he went out with them on. Oh, back in uh, last. back in two thousand nine, probably. Yeah, something around there. It's all blur, you know. And Chad, Mr. Chadlack, he's a man I've <laughs> I've known about for many years. I finally met him at the Broken Side show in April, and the greatest way when it's like over. The, I've been playing sub noise music on the radio for a few years now, and I'm right. just meeting everyone from the label slowly but surely, and I'm always meeting people in the greatest of fashions. And Mr. Chadlack himself. Is a perfect one. I'm in the the yellow, the famous yellow bus with Broken Side, sipping on a right, bottle yeah. of <laughs> sipping on a bottle of Grey Goose with Broken Side, and Chadlack comes right on up and he's stoked. He sees I got a fifth of Grey Goose right there, and he's like, "Yeah." Ooh, he lo- he loves his captain. He's a captain's man. Oh, that, I'm tell you different. 
Oh, I got it. That's just what was available at the moment. That's what he was exactly. digging on that. Very good hair. Some good water. You know, have some of that. So, man, great times. Great times. Absolutely. So, you've toured with Mickey Avalon, Millionaires, more recently, but you've spent many tours with the Cottonmouth Kings. And just fill us in on some of the greatest moments you can remember oh, from man, working with Pacalica. No, oh, there's just so many. You know, it's more not. I can't really pinpoint one thing because there's been so many great times shared with Big P. It's just you know, just Pac's presence. You know, he had a really good, a positive presence. He was just always cracking jokes. He's always had me laughing. You know, he's just he's just a fun guy to be around. You know, everybody liked him. He's just a likable guy, and you know, it's obvious why. You know, it's, it's been awesome to see all the fan support and, you know, everybody's, it's just the weird times, you know, it's weird times across the globe, you know, and just to see Pac one day and then not to know that he's not around anymore. It's just, it's a hard thing to deal with, you know, you know, death is just definitely something that um, it's hard to take in and, and usually takes a while to sink in. Exactly, man. I, I've. I said, I've been listening to the Cottonmouth Kings since 1999. So I've been listening for a long, long time. But yeah. I only got to meet Cottonmouth. I only got to meet Pacalica one time in person. Right. But that was a very, very memorable experience. It's something I'm never going to forget myself personally. And it was, uh, I'd only been at the station for probably maybe around a year. And I've been here for about six years now. So it's been a while, almost six. It was, uh, back about four or five years ago when they were doing uh, I believe the uh, the first tour with uh, Tech 9 in there, the uh, Strange Noise Tour. Strange Noise Tour, yeah. And it was I, it was my first time actually meeting anyone in the band. And I'd been listening for this long. I'd seen them at shows, but... And I was uh, set to do an interview with them, and Brad... We just, uh, and that was the first time I had encountered Mr. B.J. Smith as well. <laughs> The notorious BJ Smith. Yes, and uh, that happened to be a really funny time to meet BJ because the Head PE DIY Guys DVD just came out. Right well, BJ's just BJ's a character within himself. So you know, anybody that knows BJ knows that he's 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 he's, he's another one. The thing is, the camp is just filled with characters. Yeah, and you know, everybody's positive and everybody's out there to have fun, and it's just you know when you put a good group of people together and go travel the states it's just it's good things are bound to happen you know what i mean exactly so it's just it was you know a great experience and you know it's still going you know it hasn't stopped you know unfortunately i'm not on the road with the guys this time around but you know <clears throat> next time you know who knows you might see me Oh, we hope so. We hope we hope to, we hope to see you in seattle and uh yeah i want to go to seattle god i love seattle but yeah, man, it was. I have to admit, the first time meeting BJ, I mean, the first time I ever actually, the first idea I got of who he was was the DIY Guys DVD, where he was chasing product all around town because he was tagging him everywhere. Right, right. And so then I actually go to meet this guy probably about a week later, and BJ was funny. BJ was really chill, but that guy was straight business, and he brought me on the tour bus with uh, Brad X, and he's like, all right. You get 15 minutes, no weed smoking, none of that business. 15 minutes, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> and sure enough, 15 minutes later, there was BJ knocking on the door. <laughs> and then, like, later on that night, we had about probably another hour where we just kicked it BS on the, the bus. Pacalica came out, and, you know... It just, you get to you get to know everyone on a more personal level. That's kind of why I like doing this show. I love promoting Suburban Noise Records because everyone I've met from the label is just so downright chill about everything. And right, well, you know, these guys are just you know they're trying to put they're definitely putting themselves out there. You know, and they they love what they do and they know they're blessed to do what they do and to make a living. And you know, who doesn't want to go out and you know embrace their fans or the people that are supporting them? So they've always. I've always felt pride within this organization because they've always had artists that were willing to go the extra mile to please their fans. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's all the kid wants when they go to a show. You know, they want to say, hey, what up? You know, take a picture. You know, you know good show. Bounce. You know what I mean? So, you know, if 
I would have loved to have met a lot of the bands that I grew up listening to, you know, but, you know, it never happened. And, but they're, they're just those artists that, you know, will always put forth the extra effort, you know, they'll go after fans. They've, they've always done that. Exactly, man. That's one, that's one cool thing about Cottonmouth Kings. You always see someone going out. Yeah, and, always see one of them around. You might not get all of them together at the same time, but, you know, come on, you got six donors. You can't keep them all together <laughs> at once. You know, they're all doing their own thing. Exactly. And it's like everyone's, like, I've gotten to know a lot of the Kings over the over the last few years, and everyone's just chill on a whole different level. And I remember uh, when they came to the show in May, I remember... I had uh, I initially just going to have Brad X on the show, but they had just gotten off doing a, doing a show, and everyone, including Big B's dad, was in the tour bus, and yeah, the, yeah. the phone got passed around to everyone. And something Dirtball and I've always had in common is we go picking for gourmet cooking mushrooms in the spring and in the fall. Yep. And, yep. I, and I remember Dirtball was just fiending because he's he was missing out in the Chantrell season. And uh, he was just—he was just like you had to remind me of it. And so I brought oh, him some of my some of my pickings from last season that I had frozen, and I he was, was so there, happy. Actually, now that I like that, that sounds really familiar. Oh yeah, yeah, I do think I was there. <laughs> oh, in the the May well, show I'm for sure KMK. I'm sure we've crossed paths before. Fans it's just never clicked, you know. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I think we're going to get into a uh, fan request, and then we'll hear a little bit more from Mr. Flofolo. Does that sound great? Yeah, cool. I think we're going to take it to the old school with this one. Do you agree that taking it to the old school is a good idea? I, we like the stuff. Exactly. This one is a fan request off the Royal Highness record, Spies. More from Mr. Flofolo right after this. <laughs> Stay awake, because the show is not yet over. We still got like, what, 40 minutes? Exactly. We got more time for Mr. Flow Flow. What up? Living the California dream. <laughs> and right now we're kind of living like the Seattle dream because it's not freezing and raining. I hear <laughs> violins, Faz. <laughs> <laughs> my my producer's out to get Come me. on, Seattle's beautiful. It is. It's I love, beautiful. I love Washington. I will not deny it is a beautiful state, but if it rained less and was less cold in the Dude, winter, I would be very happy. It was actually hardly raining this year compared to the past, so quit your bitching. <laughs> <laughs> I get no sympathy. I get no respect, seriously, because you don't deserve it. <laughs> oh, well, that's all good. So... Before we let you go, is there anything else you would like to say in honor of Pakalika? Um, yeah, of course. You know, I just want to thank everybody for, you know, all the calls and all the text messages, all the Facebook posts, you know, all the Instagrams and all the people that took time to make stuff to, you know, show their love for Pac. You know, he, he will be missed by many. I know a lot of people that are really crushed over his loss, over, you know, our loss of him. You know, including myself. So it's it's pretty hard. You know, everyone's still trying to get get a grip of things and realize that this is real. And you know, like we said, you know, life rolls on. And you know, we'll, you know, just to keep Pop's memory alive and spread, you know, what he was all about and stuff. And that's that's what all we can do. You know, and I just want to keep the spirit alive. You know, I, I miss him, and you know, it's just. It's, it's been a, it's been a hard four days. You know, definitely you have your moments. You know, I've been putting together the slideshow in remembrance of him. Um, Judge D did a track. We recorded a track Saturday, the day that Pac passed. Um, we plan on putting it out tomorrow. Just put it out on Facebook just for people to see. Just see Pac's, you know, the, you know, everyone knows that Pac wore the dopest outfits and just he had some crazy looks to him and 
his dance moves. So we threw all that in there, all of his different looks, and all of his different characters, and just to kind of, you know, remember, you know, everything, you know, that he did and stuff. So um, it's really good. I'm really proud of it. You know, it's, you probably get a little teary eyed when you see it, but, you know. It's all in the spirit of Big it's, Pop. It's, it's, it's all love, dude, you know, and. I look forward to hearing what people think about it, and I hope everyone likes it. And you know, I, I really enjoy it, and we've, we've had a lot of fun making it. So look for it tomorrow, and let me know what you think. Spread Absolutely. your love. Absolutely, I will let you know, and I'll post it on my page as well, and let all the kings and queens across the world view this in honor cool. of Apocalypse. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in today, and I look so much forward to having you cruise through Seattle once again, good sir. I know. I'll see you again. R.I.P. Pakalika. Peace and love. All right. Time to get back to the music. This one is a track off the Green Album, as requested by a longtime fan of this very show. Shane, this one goes out from you. This is your request. Going out to Pakalika. This is time. Hidden stash on the only KJOG FM. <laughs> <laughs> 